Hello and welcome to another screencast training video from MG Creative. My name is Michael Gravel and today I will be guiding you through the basics of posting to your blog in the content management system called Perch. So let's get started. Now when you're posting to your website or posting to your blog it's a good idea to have your blog post written, edited, ready to publish before you even log in. And it's also a good idea to have any uh, other materials ready to go, um, like photos, links, references, all of that kind of stuff. You want to make sure that you've got all of your stuff that you want to put in your blog together in one place. Uh, it's a good idea just from an organizational perspective to have a blog posts folder that includes um, all of the text for your blog posts or, you know, copies of them anyway, along with uh, the imagery. So uh, even within that folder, you could have a folder for images and uh, the text any way you want to do it. But it's a good idea to have that stuff all together on your hard drive, on your computer, so that it's easy to find when you want to post it. Okay, so the first thing to do when you want to post to your site is uh, get into your web browser, your, uh, open a new browser window, have two tabs open. One tab, you want to have your website, your blog um, up and ready. And then on the other tab, you want to have your Perch admin interface ready to log in. So let's dive right in and we're going to post a blog. So now when you first log in, you're going to see a bunch of content areas here. Now this stuff here is not directly related to your blog. It is on your website, but it's not part of your blog. This is this all this content is editable, but we're not dealing with that here. What we want to do is update our blog. So up here in the main navigation, you see we have pages, assets, apps, users. If we hover over apps, we go to blog, this allows us to add a new blog post. And when we land in the blog section here, we have a list of all of our posts when they were published. So we can go in and edit these posts or delete them from right from this screen if we want. This will also show us our drafts if we have any. We don't have any yet, but it is possible to uh, save a post as a draft. So we want to add a new post. So let's go to add post. Now, there's a, a bunch of fields here that um, bunch of fields here that we can fill in. Obviously, each blog post has to have a title, and then there's the post body, and then there's an excerpt. Now, the excerpt isn't used in every single application. It just depends. In this particular case, this blog, the, the excerpt is used on the front page only as a teaser excerpt. So, again, it all depends on your site and... Um, what's what exactly is um, how it's designed, how it's laid out, and how it's built. And different sites will have different types of functionality. But bottom line is you need a title, you need a, a post body at the bare minimum. And then of course you can change the parameters like the date it's published. You can change uh, the categories that are involved here. Uh, in some cases you may be able to upload a, a a special image that will uh, rest at the top of the blog post just depends on how the the blog is constructed you can also allow or disallow comments on a post by post basis and uh, there's a few other options here that you probably don't have to worry too much the status here is where you would change it to draft if you so chose so you can publish it right away which is uh, you can do that if you want or you can leave it as a draft like I say, it's a good idea to actually have your blog post content completely written, spell checked, edited, ready to rock. I know that seems kind of antithetical to some bloggers, but it's a good idea to have all that stuff done before you publish. And then down here is our save button. So when we've uh, posted all of our stuff or entered all of our stuff in here, we're going to hit save and that'll publish it to our website. So we've got a blog post written in a word processor and we've got a bunch of images or a couple of images that we want to post with our blog so let's go to that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to head over to my uh, file system here and i'm going to go to um, my test blog that i wrote in apple's pages so here's my lorem ipsum blog post it is four paragraphs and um, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go control A, which will select all of that text. And then I'm going to go control C, which will copy it to the clipboard. And then I'm going to scroll back over to the perch 
uh, page, the Perch Admin Interface, and I'm just going to click in this post text area here, and I'm going to go Control V to paste that right in there. Now, a couple things to note. You know, notice that all of these paragraphs here have one single blank line between them. That's very important. That tells the publishing software that that block of text is a paragraph, and it should have space below it. So between paragraphs, you have to have a blank line. If you don't have a blank line, you're just going to have a big block of text, which on the web is a no-no. It's really hard to read. So we have our, our blog body text here. We have to add a title. So let's go uh, fancy blog title again. Okay, so we've got our text here. Now that's pretty bland. A, a blog post that is just text isn't great. You want to have at least a couple of images. And it's also a good idea if you're referencing anywhere else, referencing a Wikipedia article or a different website or something like that, it's a good idea to have links in there too. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a, we're going to bold the first uh, few words here. So you can see what I did there. I highlighted the text and then I pressed this B, which turns text bold. Now you can see that the text itself didn't actually turn bold, but the publishing system surrounded the text with two asterisks. And that what that does is that signifies to the publishing system that um, that text, when it's published on the website, is to be bold. So that's the idea behind it. And uh, we can do that with uh, different text too. There's bold, italic, you can do a block quote here, or, or a, an unordered list, or a ordered list. We can insert images and we can insert text as or insert links as well. So we've got some bolded text here. Let's go down a little bit. Let's let's make this a link. So let's turn this into. So what I've done is I've highlighted that text, click this link, and now I can enter a URL. So if I want to go to uh, let's say the Globe and Mail. globeandmail.com. Let's go to that website. And then it'll ask me for a title. So I can go uh, the globe. Okay, so you can see that what it's done here is um, <clears throat> all I did was highlight this text here. And then <clears throat> after I um, click that link, it asked me a few questions. And then it added all of this special coding stuff here, these brackets and quote marks and all that kind of stuff. So what that's going to do is tell the publishing system that that's going to be a link that links to that location. So when it gets published, it won't look like this. It'll look like a link. Okay. Now, a blog post, like I say, is, isn't much without imagery. So we want to add an image. Now, the place to add images is between paragraphs. And you want to make sure that when you add an image, you have a space above and below that image. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, we're going to click right here and we're going to add a couple of spaces and then we're going to go up. So we want to put our image right in here. We want to have a blank line here and a blank line there and our image right here. So let's do that. That's where we want to insert our image. We hit this little image icon. This brings up a file choosing dialog so we can choose right from our file system. So that little pop up there, that's this is stuff that's on our computer. So we can upload an image directly to the website. So I'm going to choose this dog image and I'm going to call it the dog. And I'm going to click upload. And then you can see what happened there is that the publishing system entered the code automatically. So all I did was put my cursor there and hit the little picture button and chose a picture from my computer and boom, it's on the server now. And it's when we publish this thing, there's going to be a picture of a dog there. And then I'm going to put another picture down here. So I'm going to create another couple of lines and put my, my image right there. So let's choose another one here. So I'm going to choose this baby and call it hands because it's a picture of some hands. I'm going to upload that and boom, it adds it in. So what we have here, um, even just in, in a few minutes, we've got a, a good title. We've got um, some bolded text. We've created a link down here and we've added a couple of images. So our, our blog post is already looking pretty good. It's got, um, you know, some, some great text. Ooh, see here, there's no, there's no blank line between that paragraph. So we just fixed that. 
So our blog post is looking pretty good. Now, if we want, we can throw an excerpt here. So let's do that. Let's take uh, a little bit of text. Let's say this little, this um, line here, and let's copy and paste it down in here. And that'll be our excerpt. Now we want to publish this right away. So let's just leave the publishing date. We can throw a couple categories on there too, if we want. And then we, we're just going to leave the rest. And the important thing to do is go save. So our system here is telling you, your post has been successfully created. Okay, so that means that this post is now on our website. So we're here in our blog section on our website. Let's reload the page and see what that baby looks like. So here's our fancy blog title again. And you can see that our excerpt has been published here. And if we go read the rest of this post, it'll take us to our blog permalink page. And you'll see that we have our title, we have our text that's bolded. Here's a picture of our dog. And you can see that it's got the nice spacing between it. It's not running into text or anything like that. There's the link that we created right there. It's going to the Globe and Mail. And there's our other picture right there. And you can see that the publishing system has automatically added some data to the post. Posted by Michael, that's me, August 18th, and it's filed it in those categories that we chose. And it's also allowed visitors to add commentary, which is up to you. Once again, that's selectable on a post-to-post -post basis. So we've got a basic blog post here, and that was pretty, pretty easy to do. And uh, let's go back into our management here. So we can, um, now from here, you can edit this post again, if you want, you can go and, uh, you know, let's say you discover you made a spelling mistake, what have you, you can go in and edit that no problem. You can just, all you have to do is, um, you know, change the text. So, you know, make your changes. And then make sure that you scroll down and hit save when you're done. That means that your post has been successfully updated. So we can go back to our blog listing here. and We can see that our, our blog new blog post is right here along with our previous ones. So that's the basics of adding blog content to Perch. You can see that it's pretty easy. And um, again, the key thing here and the, the thing that, that I think you will want to do is make sure that you've got all your stuff ready ahead of time. Make sure that you've run your post through a spell check, that you've got it all done. You've got all your images ready to go in one folder. So it's really easy to open it up and actually post it because the lower the friction to posting, the more often you're going to post and the cooler and more awesome your blog is going to be. So um, that's about it for posting on a blog. That's the basics of it anyway. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and we'll see you again next time.